What's up guys, it's Fab here. I'm doing a really quick Sony Vegas tutorial just to get one uploaded. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do black pulsating bars on the top and bottom of your screen to, to the beat of a song. So I'll show you what it looks like. I used to do Believe in you So yeah, black bars are used a lot in montages now and edits like all the time and it's something I use quite a lot because it just makes it look cool but this is a nice change to it to give it a pulsating effect so I'll show you how to do it so the first thing you want is just to get your clip I'm gonna do the same as what you saw in the preview the cinematic so I'm just gonna drag this on and I've just got to split this so. Bear with me, I've just got to sort this out quickly. So I'm only going to show you up to here because there's no point showing the whole thing. So the second thing you need is a good song with a nice beat in it. I've chose this and so I'll just give you a little preview of what it sounds like. It was a pin up, the magazines were print up, that made me pick that pin up, that kept with so yeah, it's got a nice beat to it, which you can sync it really well, and it that helps because you don't want little shit songs that you can't sync at all. So right, first thing you want to do is find the bit where the where the first beat is, and it helps if you like zoom in on the timeline because like then you can find the beats easier. But it's up to you. I'm just gonna do it really quickly. So yeah, find the first beat. It was a pin up. The which is the first beat is right on this line there so make sure you're selected on the video and split find the next one Magazines will print up. and that's on this line find the next one that made me pick that pin up. That on that line split and the last one which is there right so you've got your four now, and what you want to do is go to the first one, which is here, and go to event pan crop. And now, if you look on event pan crop, usually over here on this right where these little emblems are, the one saying lock aspect ratio would usually be ticked, so that stops it from like you know going out of the black bars and stuff. But what you want to do is just untick that and then you can see the black bars come in so what you want to do is just drag the black bars as far down as you want you can have it where whatever like you know width you want so i'm just going to have it there so what you got to do now is drag it this is obviously your whole first beat so i'm going to drag it about 3 quarters of the way and then go to click default so that adds a new keyframe. Now you can see the black bar comes in and it goes back out. So that's on the beat, and I'll show you that. Uh, it was a pin up. The magazines were so what you can do now is instead of redoing this over and over again, if you're doing it on loads of beats, you just go on the clip, right click it, click copy, and that'll copy the whole pan and crop and stuff. Just go on to your second clip your third clip, your fourth clip and and right click again and click paste event attributes and that'll paste all of them onto the same thing and then it'll, they'll all be the same and it'll look like this let me turn the preview down so you can see it real quick the magazines will print up that made me pick that pin up that kept a niggas chin up that turn loses the win so as you see there it's a lot easier to do than doing it all over and over but you make sure that if you're copying them that it doesn't have color correction because it will obviously it'll copy it copies every effect that's on here and it'll paste the color correction over so just make sure you're doing it on a raw clip but yeah that's a pretty easy thing to do and you know it's just getting the hang of uh, pan and crops you know everything and once you do it's really easy 
but yeah if you if you've got any questions then just leave a comment I'll read them all and leave a comment because I need some uh, ideas on what to do tutorials on so anything you want to know how to do just leave a comment and I'll have a look and see if I can do it because I want to start making a lot more because they're really easy to do and they're just really quick alright so yeah thanks for watching and make sure you leave a like alright see ya